Welcome back to uh, Aussie, No Man's Land, X-16. Um, I had a little bit of fun yesterday on this new map, so I thought I'd, uh, just for fun, come in and do another live stream. I didn't have anything else to do this afternoon, so I thought, what the heck. Uh, I rarely get a chance to uh, to do a special one or uh, one that's not scheduled, so I thought I'd come in and do it. Actually, Carol went shopping with a friend, so... I got stuck here by myself. Nothing else to do. There you go. All right. Let's hit it. Guess I better start the game. And there we are. Okay. So I left off doing a little bit of mowing. So I'm going to just carry on with what we were doing. And uh, have a little fun. Uh, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't mind doing these special live streams. Even though, since it's not scheduled, I might not get anybody to show up, which is fine, as I'm just doing it for fun anyway. So, if uh, if nobody shows up, that's okay. If they do, that's okay too. And I'm showing them where the stumps are. They're just appearing out of nowhere. All right, what's going on? Where's my uh, GPS? Turn it on. There we go. I, I guess it all depends on... Uh, hey, Roland, how are you? <laughs> you showed up. Good, good. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well. How's it going today where you're at? Hope you're having good weather and a good day. I'm finding out where the stumps are because the mower's hitting them and bouncing over them. So it won't be too hard to figure out where the stumps are at. Because I'll have to come back and take out the stumps. I don't want to plow over them. There's one right there. Been raining all day. Well, believe it or not, we've got we haven't had rain today. It's supposed to be. Um, it, it's at least cloudy, and it's not that warm. It's uh, I don't know forty seven something like that, and overcast. But I live on the coast. It's always like this. It's always cold and and uh, and wet. Yeah. See, I just hit a stump, and the mower just bounced over the top of it. Now in real life, you'd be. <laughs> You'd be swearing to high heaven because your um, mower's getting all chipped up. Is it flat? It kind of is. I mean, there's no real big hills, but the but the um, if you really look at the land, it's not completely flat. See where see where the house is? It it goes up a little bit, so it's not it's not completely flat. Yeah, see, there's a hill here. We're going uphill now. And then if if you keep looking, you'll see there's hills and valleys. They're not drastic. You know, it's not it's not terribly drastic. But see, there's a hill up there and around. So it's not completely flat. Which I enjoy. I don't um, I don't mind a little bit of terrain. So. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I actually prefer a little bit of terrain. I don't like when things are completely flat. It's just too unrealistic. And there's no challenge or anything. So anyway, yeah, it's not completely flat. Dennis, how are you? I'm doing fine. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good, so I decided to do a, a special uh, live stream. John, how are you? 
Are you feeling any better, John? You were kind of under the weather yesterday, I think. Dennis, how are you doing today? Alive and kicking. There's another stump. I'm just taking these out as I go. I, I wouldn't imagine I get a lot of wood chips out of this, out of these. And that stuff right there, I don't know. You, it, you're not, it doesn't look like you're able to take them out. And the mower doesn't get them. I'm hoping the plow does. If not, I don't know. I don't know. And I was going to check and see if that can go away. Can we get rid of that big rock? Doesn't look like it. I think it's just there. It's a fixture. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's going anywhere. We're going to have to work around it, I suppose. I don't think it's for consoles. I Don't quote me on that, but um, I don't even look for it on consoles. And this came from the mod author's own page. It's not, I didn't get this map from uh, Giant or, um, you know, it's from the, the author's page. So as far as I'm aware, there may be other places to get it I'm not aware of. But I don't think it's for consoles. I think Scorpion was going to check on that, but I'm not sure. John, you're still sick? Dennis's girlfriend's sick. God, everybody's getting sick here. It's springtime. You're supposed to be uh, getting better so you can have a decent summer. Red? Did I miss something? Hey, Andy. Andy says he's not sick. Well, you had your turn, Andy. It's kind of nice to feel good once in a while. I'm pretty thirsty today. Sometimes I hate having to wait till uh, soup du jour. Although I don't have to wait. I can do soup du jour anytime I want. Don't panic. Redeem panic. Don't panic. Take it easy. It'll all look better tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Andy. Um, yesterday, before the live stream, I trimmed my mustache and trimmed my beard a little bit after my shower uh, because I had my hair cut last week but I didn't trim my beard so I had I had shorter hair but my beard was down you know from going to holiday I don't I don't shave when I'm on holiday and and you might say well you have wear a beard you don't shave at all well yes I do because my beard goes clear up under my eyes so I so I uh, whoa so I shave down the sides here, and then I shave all of this grows in. Where this is right here, that all grows in, so I, I shave that out right there. And then I don't like my mustache going clear up into my nose. Because when you get old, your nose hairs start growing fast, and your eyebrows, you start looking like, you know, butterflies up here. So you have to keep that all trimmed if you, you know, if, you, if you're interested in looking better. So, um, so yeah, I still have to work at it, you know, trimming, <laughs> trimming hairs that kind of grow where you don't want them to grow out your ears, hair growing out your ears when you get older. It's terrible. I don't know what that's all about.
so when I was gone last week, I didn't shave and my beard got a little bit long. And it does grow that fast. My beard grows really fast. So does my hair. And um, so, oh, I started this conversation by talking about um, trimming this mustache. I trimmed this mustache, but I didn't trim the bottom side as well. And so now I've got little whiskers that are kind of getting in my mouth. And I was going to do that before the live stream, but I didn't do it. Bad me. But I was kind of in a hurry because I, it was at the last minute that I decided to do a live stream. So, uh, as I said, Carol went shopping with a friend. I got nothing else to do. Our dog is not doing well. I couldn't get him up to go to the bathroom. He can barely walk. Uh, over the over the holiday, we 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 left the uh, Chewy with um, with my oldest daughter. She has a little farm, and he likes it out there because uh, they've got two dogs and uh, and then as well as Chewy and then my daughter works in a boutique she manages a, a boutique in a resort town and so she took Chewy in to work with her so but about halfway through the week he started getting really bad where he can barely walk and now he's just laying around I can't get him to go out and go to the bathroom or we had to put some potty pads down for him and hope he remembers you know how to use them but he's he's 16 going on 17 and uh, when I looked it up the age for the type of dog he is was about 15 years so he's done pretty good he's went past his prime but I think he's on his way down Matthew hello Dennis on his way out Yeah, I gotta take care of your girlfriend if she's sick. That's no fun. Matthew's afraid this is tomorrow's live stream. No, this is just one I decided to do. I don't do this very often. A lot of times I don't have the time, so, but my wife's shopping, I got nothing else to do. I didn't feel like doing anything else and I was having fun on this map. And as you can tell, there's a lot of work to do on this map just to get some farming in. So I decided to come back in and try to clear these fields so that I can get some crops in. And I thought uh, I, I was just gonna do it and not record it at all. And then you guys would come back on and say, oh, what happened to all the grass and trees and stuff? And so I thought, well, if I'm gonna do that, maybe I'll just flip the switch and stream. So here we are. Jeremy, how are you doing? I'm assuming that notices went out from YouTube because I wasn't expecting anybody to show up today since I wasn't scheduled or, or scheduled, depending on where you live. <clears throat> what am I doing tomorrow? Same thing as today. I'm just working on this map. Um, I'm having fun on this map. So... I want to see what I can do with it. I'm going to have to put my own production in. And that's what I was looking at. Hang on. That's what I was looking at yesterday. And I can ask the question a couple times. Um, there's some blank fields over here. And I don't know what there are. These areas right here that are fenced in what are these for it was my question um and i'm hoping that they're really flat and the reason why i'm hoping that they're really flat is i want to put production in here so i'll put uh you know a oil factory and 
and maybe my um, my corn dryer, uh, things like that. Maybe the hat, hat making company or the shirt making company. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have animals or not right away. But but anyway, I'm thinking about using these, and I'm hoping that they're flat. And the reason why is because when I drop my house in on this field over here, the, these fields are not flat. Somebody asked me up above there whether I was whether they were flat uh, fields, but they're not. They're not flat. And he says notifications are broken. He was just lucky. Jeremy, attention, hobo shoestring is missing and could be in danger. <laughs> what? What? What's that? Anyway, um, as I was saying, you can tell when I dropped my house down that it changed the landscape because it's not flat and it caused these hills here. Okay, so that can be a little irritating. And the way to, you, you know, you've got landscaping tools, but they don't work very good in this game. And look at here what it did. It put a, my driveway just kind of got a big lumpy hole in it. And so I'm hoping that those, uh, those three plots over here are flat. I don't, I don't know that they are, but I'm hoping they are. And I'm going to drop some stuff in there. Now I did drop... As you know, on um, on this plot right here, I dropped Maurice for some storage. And I did put uh, a couple of, um, what do you call it, of these boards in to tell me what fruit I got. So I've got, uh, right now, just wood chips is all I've got in there. But I did put a couple cell points in over here. So I put a cell point in right here for straw, uh, for straw products. And then I put a regular uh, a cell point right here just to sell stuff. So what this is, is this is the cell point for my store. Um, I have a mod that I wrote um, that is a Rudy's General Store. And um, that's, the, that's a cell point for it without the building. So... That's what that is. And he's as confused as I am. Jeremy, you're going to have to explain. I think Andy's just as confused as I am. Who, who, who's shoestring and how, do he, how did he become missing? Was he kidnapped? Um, did somebody leave a door or window open? Uh, was he just flat out stolen? Did he meet a new girl on the block? And uh, he's out catting. Andy, cheers. He might be just out tomcatting. If I had... Oh, shoot. Look what I've done. I uh, I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn the GPS on, so I'm moving crookedly. Let's call me Crooked River Bob. Another stump. It's called me Stumpy. Stumpy. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get anybody come in today or not. So I did get a few of you, so that's good. Benji's out catting. Mm-hmm. 
I think I'm going to hit this rock. Can't hip it. I can't hip it. Yeah. Can I power my way through? Guess I'll have to go around. Big Daddy Gaming. Hey, Big Daddy, how you doing? You're gone? <laughs> what? You, you checked in just to say you're gone? Hi, bye, see you later. Come on, Big Daddy. Did Big Daddy come in earlier and I missed him? Now I'm going to feel bad. Hi, Anthony. How are you today? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Hump day in some places, they call it hump day. I was always a little crude, I thought, but it's appropriate because you're in the middle of the, of the week and, and you're on the hump and on down, you know, downhill towards the weekend. Anthony says he's doing okay. John's still sick. Dennis's girlfriend's sick. See, that's what you don't want. You don't want your girlfriend being sick because sometimes you don't know why she's sick. And it might not be something that you're excited about. It must be the tip of the iceberg. I'm hitting something there. All right, where did I leave off? Back there. Anthony says he's doing good. I'm doing great, Anthony. Thank you. Just decided uh, just decided I had fun yesterday on this map and I wanted to play some more. But I didn't want to play it and get ahead if I wasn't recording. Um, so I decided, why not? I, I want to play it. I'm just going to re uh, hit the restream or the stream button. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I mean, not everybody's like me. See, that'd be good no news for me. Uh, I, wa I wanted to repopulate the, uh, the world myself, but that didn't work out. So I just added my three. And I don't think I don't think Carol would be too happy if she <laughs> found that kind of news out. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you imagine being in your mid seventies and find out you're pregnant? <laughs> Could that even happen? I don't know. Men could. I've, I've known men in their 90s that still shot more than blanks. I can't imagine that. That's just cruel. Some of these movie stars, I've known movie stars, like the guy, the guy that played Scotty in Star Trek, um, he had 
a baby in his late 80s or something, 70s or 80s. And I thought, that man, that's cruel. You just gave birth to a kid that'll never know their father. Instead of saying, you know, son, come out, let's play some football in the front yard. You're saying, son, can you grab that spoon and help me eat? I can't, I can't lift a spoon. I want some of my soup. <laughs> Rudy, I'm pregnant. Yeah, why not? I've seen it on the internet. It must be true. Men having babies. Everything on the internet's true, isn't it? That dude was the odd couple actor was old. Yeah. It to me, this just it isn't right. You, you got a child that'll never know. Oh yeah. Never know their father. Never. Yeah. I, I can remember playing baseball with my dad outside. What do you remember? I remember having to change his diapers. What? what? Dad crapped his pants. He couldn't get up to go to the bathroom. He's 90 years old. Um, yeah, I'm um, uncovering a bunch of stumps I'm going to have to take out. There's more than I thought. I thought that thing was getting most of the stumps, but I don't think it got any of them. <clears throat> and I just decided, this is a corporate decision here. I've just decided that since this is not a scheduled live stream, I don't have uh, have a scheduled soup du jour, and I'm dying of thirst, so I'm going for it. And because it's a special occasion, I'm going this way. I'm going I'm going with a bottle instead of a, instead of instead of a can. So, um I don't know what it is. Carol asked me about this because I bought some of these for the trip to to put in the car. And um Carol asked me, she said, "Are the bottles better than the cans?" And I said, "Well, in what way?" And she said, "Taste." And I said, yeah, I think so. The taste from the bottle seems stronger. I, it's, it, okay, so the can is Mountain Dew. And the bottle is Mountain Dew. The taste-wise, it, it has more taste to it, to me. I don't know if that's true. And I will guarantee you that soda pop, because when I drank Pepsi, I never drank it out of the can. I always drank Pepsi out of the bottles because it didn't taste the same out of a can. Bottles were always better. And that's and if that's my opinion, it's my opinion. If it's true, that's better yet. So that's the way I feel, and I'm sticking with it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, where'd my GPS go? There we go. Uh, Scorpion's got Dr. Pepper fully leaded. Not any of that uh, high ethyl. Yeah, there's something about it that that and and I, and I will admit that it might not be. I will admit that I just think it tastes better. I'll admit that because I know in a in a glass bottle it does. I mean, there's something about a uh, a glass bottle that maybe it doesn't lose its fizz. Or, you know, maybe that plastic isn't as um, solid a substance. But, um, you know, reality is perception. And if I perceive that it tastes better, then it tastes better, whether it really does or not. <clears throat> 
it doesn't really matter. And that, that's why I'm willing to give people the benefit of the doubt when they talk about things. And, you know, you believe what you want to believe and more power to you. Let everybody else leave him alone. If he believes that and he's happy with it, then who's he hurting? That's my opinion about life. Just, you know, love him and leave him, you know. All right, so um, I can't do it. Damn, somebody glued this one on. Ow, ow, I can't get this open. All right, that's ridiculous. Hang on, something's not right. What did I do? Don't do that. I gotta get my screwdriver out. I got a handy dandy uh, leather man. All right, so I get get my leather man out. Let's see if that'll work. Oh shit! It's got a it's got a cutter on it. I hope that doesn't cut it. It don't it don't open wide enough. Well, shoot, dang. Gotta take my headphones off. Be right back. All right, I'm going to open the window while I'm up. Let a little fresh air in. All right, are we back yet? Are we in my back yet? Ah, oh, jeez. You know you're getting old when you can't open a Mountain Dew. See, that thing was solid. Even with the pliers, when I was going around, it was cutting a, a groove on the cap. Did you hear it? Psh, man, that sucker's tight. Here we go. Oh, man, that's cold. Oh, jeez. Now I'm going to be freezing to death all afternoon. All right, I'm back. Channel lock wrench, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd have to go out in the workshop and find it. A <laughs> pair of vice grips or something. Groove is in the heart. Um, is Andy still here? You know, uh, it could be a different recipe in cans and plastic. It could be. Because, you know, the equipment, they had to reset for plastic and can. I mean, they don't just, the machines don't just automatically take a bottle instead of a can. So they got to do some kind of change to it. So they could change the recipe while they're at it pretty easily. Andy says he's still here. Andy, did we ever hear what happened to Shoestring? Because I, I still don't know what the heck he, he meant by that. He LOL'd a minute ago. A Andy said he didn't get a notification. Did he, or he's, No, no, that's not what he said. Andy said he doesn't have notifications turned on or something. But whatever. I don't either. I don't like being notified... You know, if I, if I want to watch something, I'll find it. And um, 
Yeah, so I don't I don't have any notifications because uh, God, I've got like 300 things that I'm subscribed to. If, if I put notifications on, it my computer would be buzzing and banging all dang day. All the ding dang day and all the ding dang night. Somebody bet on the bay. Because I bet my money on a bobtail nag. Why would you bet money on a nag? That that song doesn't make any friggin' sense. Well, it might if you're stupid. If you're, if you know, I'm just gonna give my money away. You know, I'm betting on this nag knowing I'm gonna friggin' lose. He never, he never replied. Huh. I don't know. It sounded funny. I wanted to hear the story. Whatever the story was behind that, it had to be funny. What? What's shoe, who's shoestring? Is it sounds like the name of a clown or something? Shoe, shoestring the clown. <clears throat> or maybe maybe that's the name for one of Craig's snakes. Shoestring. Is Craig here? Tell Craig he should name his snake shoestring. That's that's cool. That'd be a cool name. I miss shoestring potatoes. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever had shoestring potatoes because I like the the. I used to like the. Um, we 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 had a place. Uh, a, it wasn't. A, wasn't. Maybe two or three blocks away from the school, and it was a little. Uh, re a hamburger joint with jukebox and um, they had a soda soda jerk a counter soda soda counter ice cream um, it's called the 49er and um, the guy every morning came in peeled potatoes and cut his own his own uh, french fries man those were good he had the best French fries. I remember Cracker. Anybody remember Cracker? Hey, Fred. Fred's in the house. How you doing, Fred? Ladies and gents in the confused. You just hit everybody with that statement. Yeah, Andy. That's that's right. I I miss Robbie Coltrane. He was one of my favorites. There's certain people I miss. I miss Rush Limbaugh. I miss um Oh crap, crap I can't think of his name now. Um in uh, Die Hard with um with Bruce Willie, he was the bad guy. I can't think of his name. Alan. Alan Rich Richmond. I can't remember. Fred's got a chest infection, but he's surviving. I hope you get over that. We come, we come from a land down under. We come from a land of confusion. Anybody get confused between um, between Australia and New Zealand? Do do Australians and New Zealand people have a have the same uh, thing about? Um, the Irish and the Scottish. Have you ever noticed that you, if you call an Irishman a Scotman or a Scotman an Irishman, they get all pissed off? Um, 
but you can say that about other people and they just look at you and I don't know what you're talking about. But if you but if you say, man, that guy's got a, a really uh, prominent Irish accent and they're Scottish, they get pissed. And you know, I can actually understand uh, the confusion for some people. And I'll tell you why I think that. Sometimes I think it's fair that a person can get confused between an Irish accent and a Scottish accent. And the reason I say that is that one, I want to cut some people some slack because there's people like Americans that never hear foreign accents unless it's Spanish. But um, I think because in both Ireland and Scottish there are different accents because there's some Scottish people that could slowly speak to me and I wouldn't understand a word they said and there's others that that will talk and I can understand everything they say so uh, I've never had trouble understanding what Billy Connolly says but he's obviously got a Scottish accent but that Isa, that woman that played in <laughs> in uh, Still Game, I never understood a word she said. So it might be a little bit easier to con if you take that into consideration that there are different accents and different dialects uh, in in Scotland and Ireland that you might be confused. To, was that Scottish or was that Irish? When when I hear oh, Billy Connolly yeah. talking, I know for certain he's Scottish. Cheers, Scorp. And if you buy that, I got 10 acres down the street here, I'll tell you. And he's gonna go feed the cat. What do you feed the cat? Your, your, do you still got the bird or is that what you're feeding the cat? Jeffro. All right. It looks like I got some trees to cut here. Maybe. Well, well, well. Do I cut these? I'm trying to decide. I might not. I might leave the trees by the river. I've got plenty of land. And the, the, the grass that I just cut will grow back. It's the plowing that's going to change the field. So I think what I might do is bring the plow, pretend this is my plow, and take him and run the plow right from here this way and, and, and skirt these trees and leave them by the river. It might be kind of nice to have trees down by the river. Just come across like I am right here. Know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do.
So I'll just follow this tracks back. Swing around these trees, bring it into here. That's what I think I'll do. He's a stand-up comedian. I figured he was with a name like that, Jeffro. As a matter of fact, I think I've heard him because uh, because I kept thinking he was saying Jethro. Jethro. Or not him, but people that talked about him. Okay, it's, it's a friend of Andy's. He's selling him beer or something, maybe. Did you sell any beer to him, Andy? He's from Cornwall. One of the reasons why I left those trees out from here to the road instead of making a, a field was I got plenty of room to put in barns or something if I need sheds for, for um, equipment, things like that. No beer involved. Scorpion, is that you? Is that you um, talking about setting up cattle with a expandable pasture mod? I haven't figured that mod out yet. I haven't looked at it yet. I started to read it, and I thought, well, that sounds complicated. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it. I don't like complications. Is that the, um, when I was on vacation, you sent me a link to uh, a mod. Was that it that you're talking about, that expandable pasture mod? Has Andy, has Andy got beer? Where's Lori today? Maybe she doesn't cook on Wednesdays. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I, I had fun messing around with this map yesterday, and I wanted to do some more. And I thought, well, if I do, you guys will be all pissed off because you didn't get to see what I was doing. So I thought, well, if I'm going to do it, I'll just flip the switch and uh, stream while I'm playing. I just wanted to do it for fun today. I didn't feel like doing anything else. And Carol's out shopping with a friend, so... Jeff got a new computer delivered today. He spent... Uh, he bought one similar to mine. Although, he spent the money and got the 1090. Of course, the 1090 is cheap. Or not 1090, the 4090. The 4090 is now cheaper than it was when I got my computer. When I did my last computer, I got the 4080. And I started looking at the stats. And the stats weren't worth $1,000. And the damn uh, GPU was $1,000 more than the, than the 4080 that I wanted. So I said, heck with it, just got the 4080. I couldn't see where the 4090 was going to do any difference for me. And I still don't really, but the prices came down. So he got a fairly good price on the 4090. And uh, so he, he just wanted to have a better computer than me, which is fine. I don't care. He does less with his computer than I do with mine, so...
So it doesn't matter if he's got a better computer. <laughs> I couldn't, it was delivered by UPS today. I couldn't, um, couldn't leave it on on front porch, so I managed to bump it in. It's heavier, heavy sucker. What am I doing? That, that's what I'm doing. Hey, Tim. I'm doing good today. Hope you're doing well. Another No Man Lands, um, but it's not an alien gym map. Another no man land map. Scorpion, did you ever find out if they've, if they've done this for consoles? I don't think they have. It's not the size to tell you use it. <laughs> if you're old enough, I mean, if you're young enough to still use it, I guess that might be true. Well, it depends on what it is you're talking about. <laughs> if you're talking about a pickup truck, I don't know. I'm no expert. Oh, right, 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 right. So that answers that one. So that'll be a good answer for the next person to ask us. Yeah, because I had somebody ask earlier um, if it was for uh, consoles. Like, Hell, I don't know. I have these games for consoles and never, never played them. I think, I think the Xbox version I have, I have started up, but I never actually did any farming. I think I started the game, and that's about it. I just don't like consoles. I, I never have. They're restricting for one thing. Um, you. you a new game comes out. Oh, that, that that's not made for consoles. A new game comes out. Oh, that's not made for consoles. Um, there's a console game come out, but you can't do everything you can do if you had it on a computer. I mean, look at some of these games that came out that you couldn't get mods for. And we were playing the snot out of games that we had mods for. And you couldn't play them on the consoles, you know. And then they have... Well... You, you have to play this only on the Xbox. Well, I've got a PlayStation. Well, you're screwed then. And vice versa. And then you've got Microsoft, where you, where you have to pay twice to play the game. And you might ask, how, what do you mean? Well, like that game that I play, where I have to pay um, a monthly fee to play it. It's an online game. I've been playing it for 10 years. And you, you have a monthly, you buy the game and then you pay every month to play. It's an online game, okay? Now, you buy it for the Xbox, you buy the game, you pay the company a monthly fee to play it, but then you have to pay Xbox a monthly fee to have the internet to get on the game that you paid to play. So you, you're, you end up having to pay twice for the same game. And, you know, because you have to have, what is that, Xbox Pass or whatever it's called? Game Pass, whatever it is. You can't play an online game unless you have that. And it's it costs you a monthly fee. Fred says he's talking about the computer. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, the same statement might apply. I know a lot of people that are older that don't know how to use computers. So it would depend on your age. <laughs> I know people that are younger than me don't know how to use computers. And I'm happy with that. I can't tell you how many times I've told people that have trouble 
doing with games and stuff on the PC, and I tell them, you know, why don't you just buy an Xbox? You'd be better off. Oh, I can't make it do this. Oh, I can't make it do that. Oh, I can't run this. I don't know what I'm doing. Blah, blah, blah. Buy a console. Buy an Xbox. You're better off. Uh, some people shouldn't have computers. I don't know if the porn is as good on Xbox as it is on PC. And I have no way of knowing. But the, you know, game... Uh, there shouldn't be any problem playing a game with an Xbox or a PlayStation because you just turn it on, grab the controller, and start playing. You don't have to know nothing about it. You don't have to worry about mods. My mods don't work. Tim bought another tractor. Those things wear out fast, don't they? All right, so I got a... I don't think I've bought a quicker picker upper yet. So I gotta get one of those. Oh yeah. So Fred, are you um you said you had um chest sickness, something in your chest. Are you are you bedridden? Are you doing okay? You don't have pneumonia, do you? That'd be not good. Yeah, which mod made my game not load? <laughs> Microsoft. Microsoft made it not work. Now I need a nap. I'm getting tired. I was doing perfectly fine when I started. But this is an unscheduled live stream. I guess I could quit anytime I want. So if I fall asleep, you'll know it, right? All of a sudden. Oh, and the camera's gonna drag me over. Oh no, it's not gonna work. If I fall asleep, if I fall asleep, you'll, wait a minute. You'll still see me. Ugh. Yep, it moves me right back in, doggone it. Stupid technology. Fred, is, Fred says he's still working. Okay. Well, all right. I was worried that you were heading for an emergency or <clears throat> ICU, intensive care, looking for a dirty blonde nurse. Is it already? Scorpion's commuting already. Monster truck on uh, on the game. It downloads crashed my game. Do 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 do. All right, I'm gonna move this thing out of the way, and I need to get a quicker picker upper. Man, that thing dirty. Look, oh my God, look how dirty it is. Yucky, yucky, yucka. All right, let's go to the store. We're going to go to uh, trailers. We're going to go to... Loading trailers. What am I looking for? My mind is not there. What? I don't know what I'm looking for. Mowers, grass care, forage wagons, there we go. Forage wagons it is for the win. But that's not where it's at. This is not where it's at. Okay, fine. Where is it? 
There it is. Uh, or right cheer. It's right cheer. And I don't know which one I get. Which one do I get? I don't think I get the XXL. Holy smokes. No, I don't think I do. But that might be the one to get. What? What's this? Two and a half million to five million. That thing will hold. This one here will hold up to 400,000. And this one will hold a half a million to a million. Hmm. Which one do I get? I might get the I might get what this one because it's a 16x map, right? Let me get this one. Oh boy, that's a beautiful color too. Extension on it. I don't care about the wheels. Don't care about that. Wind drawer. Yop yeah, I want the wind drawer. And then uh, rim color. That's a shiny blue. Huh. What's that noise I'm hearing? Okay, I'm going to go with that. What the heck, eh? Never had, never had a blue one of these. Oh, I don't have a tractor to pull it with. Gotta have one of those, right? Okay, so uh, large tractor. And what are we looking at? I just do my. I'll just do this one. Main color. That kind of matches, don't it? It's pretty. Look at that, how pretty it is. Fast track engine, we'll give it the big engine. Wheels, I want... Um, I like the balloon ones. I like them balloon ones. So we're going to go with uh, Michelin's wide tires. They're not quite balloons, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I want GPS with it. And um, license plate, sure. Sure. You put a license plate on that sucker. Does this give you um, front and back? There we go. Okay. All right, where are we at? <laughs> Don't look here. We're playing. <laughs> We're playing realistic. Well. What's realistic anymore? We got, we got people out there thinking that we're living in the matrix and people that think that the world is flat and people that think that some of the stuff that's happened in the past was all made-believe. Um, we, we live in a weird time, I'm telling you. We're going to look back at this time in history and just laugh our asses off. Well, somebody will be laughing our, at us. Okay, here we go. Pickup time. And men can have babies. That's right. Every time every time I see one of these guys with a bun, it just makes me cringe. Now, admittedly, I like short hair. I don't like long hair. But if somebody's going to wear long hair, then wear your hair long. Why do you have long hair and then tie it in a bun? What's the point of that? I don't understand it. It's almost like the same guys that start losing their hair and grow it long in the front or the side and comb it over. What's the point of that? 
Be proud. Be bald. Or or they or they're going bald so they wear a beanie cap. You know, one of those beanie caps all the time. I don't understand that either. But there's a lot of things I don't understand. I don't understand why somebody would want tattoos all over their body. You know, especially considering they're permanent. And what's with these people? There's this one girl I saw on... Uh, and she's not a young girl. She's like in her late 40s. And she's got one of these um, earring things. Not a ring, though. It's like a round pearl. And it goes through her tongue. Through the middle, through the middle of her tongue. I couldn't stand having something on my tongue all day long. Especially since it's going clear through it, you know, with a, a it's a stud. Doesn't that tear the hell out of your mouth? I don't understand stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense to me. And these people that that are wearing things in their nose, like a bull, you know, a ring. And I saw. Uh, somebody had one of those in, and she says, "Oh, this isn't this isn't real." She said, "I'm I'm waiting for the for them to do the real one." And I said, "Well, if 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 I said how many people think you've already done it?" She says, "Everybody I see." Then why not just keep the fake one that you could take out at night and sleep instead of having something in your nose where every time you roll over in bed it tears it out or something? It just didn't make any sense. It's just silliness to me. I don't understand stuff. I guess I wasn't meant to understand stuff, so. Yeah, we got grass grass picking up to do here. You have a do you have a comb over, Fred? Okay, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just, I just I still don't understand it though. Um I think if I was going bald, I'd just shave it like every like most people. But see, that's the whole point. I know some people that are going bald, but they have plenty of hair on the side, and on and then from like here back. But because there's a little patch right here that's bald, they shave the whole head. I don't know. What does that, anybody wear hats anymore? I, I can't really talk about it because I've not lost any hair and I never will. But I have brothers that do. My my One of my half-brothers was bald before he got out of high school. Different mother. Um, baldness comes from the female, you know. So my half-brother had a different, brother, a different mother than me. And uh, they're all going bald, all of them. He just went balder faster than the rest of them. Do 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 do. Tim, can you get a JD nine RX? I don't like John Deere, but I can get one. I can get one. Just park it on the on the front lot. I'm not a big John Deere fan. I think I I think I modded one myself. I think I have one that I modded. Um, for some reason, when 22 came out, there weren't a lot of mods right away, and I modded a bunch of stuff. I think there was a John Deere 9R that I that I modded myself because I couldn't find one. I'll have to look. I got to be careful because people get all upset about stuff like that. Um, you don't like John Deere? That's like not liking it dogs, you know. I don't dislike dogs. I just don't want one. I don't want to be responsible for one. That's why the dog we have isn't my dog. I don't feed it. I don't walk it. I don't pet it. I'm used to having animals that were outdoors. You know, they never came in the house. They were a working dog. And I didn't even name them. Let's call it dog. 
if it's good enough for John Wayne, um, Big Jake, that movie, when it starts, John Wayne, he's coming down off this hill. He's got this dog right behind him. And he, and he calls him Dog. His name is Dog. Wasn't there a bounty hunter named Dog? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed it. I would have missed it. That's my that's my marker for my plow. That other bunch of grass there. Going gray at 15. Fred said he's going gray at 15. Um, my beard went gray at 50. Started to. My hair didn't start going gray till just a couple of years ago. So you can see a little bit of gray in here. Um, but that didn't start till you know, a, a year or two ago. Maybe three. Let's see what I'm I'm 71. Maybe around 68, my hair started going a little bit gray. 69. Can't remember. But my beard started going in the 50s. I knew a guy that had a calico beard. It was the weirdest thing you ever saw. Um, he was a strawberry blonde. His hair was kind of ginger. Uh, but his beard was black, red, and white. And it wasn't... It was kind of in patches, but not really. It was like... It was like... If it was if it was black here, and then red here, and then white here, it was the same on the other side. It kind of matched, and he looked like a calico cat. It was weird. And then, of course, like I said, he was ginger on top, with a little bald spot right on here on the top. Is the grass cut for silage? I haven't decided, Tim. If it is, it's only going to be for a sell point. Um, it, I'm going I'm to have to check my silage price. Um, I might double my silage price, and then I would make it into silage. But right now, I'm just going to store it because I don't plan on getting animals right away. It's going to take too long to set up fields. I mean, I've been working on this for two days, and I still haven't plowed it yet much less seeded and planted anything. And I still got another field that's probably bigger than this one to do. Oh yeah, split their tongue. I've seen people do that. My headphones just told me it was low battery, but I don't have to worry about it. I got plugged. I got them plugged in, so they'll be fine. <laughs> that was weird. The sound went away, and this pleasant young female voice says, "Battery power getting low." <laughs> Who was that? And then the sound came back on. I could hear my tractor again. There's. There's one doctor office we go to that the elevator, it's really fast. It's really, it's really fast elevator. It's a pretty tall hospital. I can't remember. I think my doctor's on the ninth floor, something like that. And uh, <laughs> the, the voice on this elevator is, is it's a female voice. And it, it, it talks like that. The voice is it kind of half whispers. It is it's, Arriving at floor seven. It's like, what? Oh, thank you. Elevator going down. <laughs> it says, oh shit, I'm sweating. <laughs> the 
This sexy elevator. John Deere's common in Australia from the videos I watch on YouTube. No doubt. It, I mean, John Deere's, um, you see him in every country. Uh, well, not all countries, but in a lot of countries you'll see John Deere's. They're popular, but I think they're overpriced, and, and I think they're um, you know, just my opinion. Uh, I think they're overrated. And I know a lot of regular farmers can't afford them. Nothing runs like a deer. Well, except a deer, I guess. So, your tractor can't outrun that deer over there? Nothing runs like a deer, you said. And that deer can't outrun my car. I've hit a few. Did um, Scorpion get lost in traffic? And, and um, Andy, are you brewing today? And I guess we're not having dinner because Lori's not here. We're on our own, boys. Not today. One to go and waiting for more supplies for make more. Are you doing any specialty beers this time of year? Getting ready for the summer? Barbecue special? Do a hot and spicy beer. Call it barbecue special. How did the um, Australians start calling women Shirley's? Why? I don't get it. And they named their barbecues Barbie. All their barbecues named Barbie. Throw a shrimp on the Barbie. I just see a bunch of uh, dolls on the beach with shrimp crawling all over them. Throw another shrimp on the Barbie. Sheila's, that's what I meant. Did I, what I say, Shirley? Surely don't, <laughs> they're Sheila's and don't call me Shirley. Surely they're Sheila's. Right, well, same difference though. Well, how'd they come up with come, calling women Shirley's? I don't get it. I mean, was there just one spectacular woman and her name was Shirley, so everybody else had to compete and become Shirley? Yeah, but no man's land. You could make it just one big field, the whole the whole map, if you wanted to, and you wouldn't be able to do it in ten minutes. And all the men are Bruce. Are we still talking Australia? Yeah, Fred says they have Karen's. Oh, is that where Karen's came from?
Farming Sins, how you doing? Sins says, hi, homies. Or no, he didn't. He said, sup. Sup, homies. Was that a commercial? There was the, that, that vampire movie where the vampires were bright and shiny in the sunlight and it was kind of made for girls, young girls. I can't remember. Twilight. Yeah, it was a Twilight series. They made a, a commercial, I think it was. It was a comedy commercial where the girl is running through the forest to try to outrun a vampire and she finally gets away from him. And she runs into a clearing, and there's a big-ass wolf standing in the clearing up on a rock, and he looks down at her and he says, Sup? <laughs> and he looks like he's going to tear her apart with his teeth and stuff. Sup? So, Tim, you just got Farm Sim 22 and you're not playing it no more? Need a bigger laptop, I guess. Don't you don't you use a laptop? Or am I mistaken? I could be. Not not very often though. Matter of fact, I can't remember last time I made a mistake. Look out, birds. I'm going to rake you up. I got to come get those stumps, uh, stumps done before I plow. And he's riding the cows again. Did I tell you guys the story about the poor little farm woman that had two cows and the state of Oregon went after her because... Um, of these two cows and was going to put her out of business because they said that she had to put in a th $100,000 system to control the, the poop and pee that the cow was making and that she's using Oregon water and she couldn't use Oregon water. Um, or something or other like that. But they were putting her out of business. They stopped, they stopped her um, from having the cows on her farm this is not in the city this is a farm and she had two cows and she couldn't drink all the milk so she was selling some of the milk from one of the cows to the neighbors kind of a thing they didn't like that anyway i watched this video on that that video got so many views and so many people were just in an outrage that the state of Oregon backed down and told her she was okay. She could do whatever she wanted to do. They got that much backlash from people. People were just angry. Because next they're going to go after your chickens. That you won't be able to raise chickens unless you put them in a $100,000 barn. or or Well, they want free roaming chickens, of course. But... They're going to they're gonna come up with something. And now all the chickens are pooping in the yard, so the, they're polluting the place or whatever it is that they think they're trying to fix. But, uh, yeah, they, they, the guy that made the video, he got so many views on it that there were so many people that went after the state of Oregon that they backed down and let her be. I thought that was kind of cool. And he's messing with the coos. Wow, I'm getting tired of picking up grass. I got plowing to do. Oh, Lucy, you got some plowing to do. 
There's Lori. Oh my God, I'm so glad. I, I was afraid we weren't going to have any dinner. But Lori's here to cook. <laughs> Lori's going to get upset. What? What? I can't leave the kitchen now. <laughs> Lori, how you doing? I hope you're okay. I'm worried about uh, Scorpion, though. Um, he started his commute, and we haven't heard from him. I'm not quite sure if he stubbed a toe coming through the hard hallway, or maybe he got sidetracked at the bathroom. Maybe, maybe there's a, a traffic jam in the hallway. I was going through some of my old, um, my old um, uh, subscribed pages, my subscriber pages. Obviously, Scorpion's one of them. He's been subscribed to me forever and ever and ever. Um, but I don't know if you guys have known, know, knew it, but he made a, a couple of farm videos. And so uh, when I was over in, um, in Redmond at my condo, I was running out of things to watch, and uh, I pulled my plat my um, my tablet up and was going through some of my old uh, people that I subscribed to to see if they because some of them I thought are they are they not making videos anymore because I haven't heard from them for, for a couple of years, and a lot of them that's the case they they like one guy he had, he had a video he put it up and at the end he said. Thanks for coming in today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I got planned. I'm going to do this and this and this. Tomorrow never came. Uh, three years later, he still hasn't made another video. I don't know what happened to him. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I was messing around with Scorpion's page and I watched a couple of his uh, farming videos. Oh, he's in the office this week. Okay, I didn't know that. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today, Lori. And uh, Carol went shopping with a, with a, one of her friends, and and um, I was kind of bored with what I was doing, and uh, decided that I had fun yesterday with this map, and I'm anxious to see what my field's going to look like, and I was going to come in and work on it uh, just for fun, and then I thought, well, if I do that, everybody's going to say, oh, how come you didn't live stream doing that stuff? And so I thought, well, heck, if I'm going to do it, I'll just flip the live stream button. So I got on my phone and texted Carol and told her that, you know, just for fun, I was going to do a live stream while she was gone and so that she wouldn't come busting in on me when <laughs> she got home thinking that I wasn't live streaming, which I normally wouldn't be. Anyway, make, long story short, it's just, it's just me having fun. Yeah, I haven't done this for a while, so... I kind of figured uh, if nobody shows up, I don't care. I was just just playing and having fun anyway, so. Andy said he got sick and tired of it, so he turned the notifications off. He just happened to just come on, so there you go. Okay, now let's see. I need to, <clears throat> I'm just going to let the grass grow back in from this point right here I'll just let the grass grow back because I decided to leave this alone right here this section <clears throat> just for the time being because there's so many dang trees Fred says he couldn't couldn't do it that office job because he tries a forklift. They won't let you drive into the office. Well, that's that's not right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's grab the old stump grinder. I've got stumps to pick up before I start plowing.
Now that I can see where they're at. Oh, that got pretty easy. I didn't even have to take the thing up or down. I'm telling you, this trailer is is a pain. I'm going to unhook the trailer. It's going to make it easier for me to get around and do these. And uh, this thing holds quite a bit of its own. On its own. Uh-oh. Different angle. There it went. Wow, that was a pain in the patoot. Anybody know what a patoot is? <laughs> the old patoot. Wow, when you get it at the right angle, it works pretty good. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Hang on. Addie doesn't want to walk. She wants me to come get her, and I told her she'd have to wait a half hour. <laughs> so it's a nice day. You can walk. <laughs> oh, it's three blocks. <laughs> Whatever. You better get used to it. Did I turn the mic back on? I think I did. <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm sitting here talking to myself. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it wants to put that in there. Okay. This is a pain in the bum. You can kind of tell where the stumps were because the mower would bounce over them and leave some grass. So I should be able to see where there's a grass patch like right there see those grass patches that's probably where I must have hit this one going both ways You guys playing any different games besides Farm Sim after all these years? Or is it just me that quit playing? <laughs> I've actually cut way back on playing games. I haven't played 
anything in a long time, but new games. I'm still playing Final Fantasy almost every day, but I've been doing that for 10 years. Uh, just keeping keeping my characters full up on money and armor and stuff like that. We got a new expansion coming out for it um, in June. So I'm getting ready for that. So I've been running dungeons, increase my uh, increase my uh, experience and money, 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 money for uh, an armor, improving my armor, getting ready for the expansion that comes out. It's going to be exciting in this game because the last expansion completed the storyline that started this game. 10 years ago and so I, so with the new expansion we're wondering what are they going to do are they starting a new story if they are what's it going to be about is it different characters are the characters that we know and love for 10 years still still relevant we don't know and so it's kind of exciting So it's pretty amazing. This uh, Final Fantasy XIV is what it is. I was an alpha tester for it and a beta tester. And so was Jeff, my son. So um, we're meteor survivors. So we've got um, legendary characters, two of them. I've got two of them. Jeff has one. And uh, anyway... Uh, That's a long time. <laughs> We're pretty attached to our characters. So, um, you paid, played Transport Fever? Gosh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look. But what, what I was going to say about Final Fantasy XIV after all these years now I forgot um, God am I getting older what I had a point to make and I don't remember what it was just like it was right there and it just went All right, I might have to start plowing now because I don't know where these stumps are at. I'll just start plowing, and when I hit one, I'll bring this thing in. Let's just put this guy up here out of the way. Uh, Matthew, I'm not sure. Probably probably 3 o'clock. Um, Addie wants me to come get her, and she said she's re she'd rather wait a half hour than walk two blocks. Lazy bum. All right. Oh, shoot. I left my trailer. Where's my tractor? Right there. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. Okay, it has to do with uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, we started playing World of Warcraft too about the same time as, as Final Fantasy. And um, we played World of Warcraft for years and years and years until finally it just, they ruined the game. They just the game just wasn't fun anymore and we stopped playing and that was only a year or two ago and we had an influx of WoW players into Final Fantasy the one that Jeff and I have been playing for 10, 10, 12 years and this last year they just had uh, they just had uh, some kind of a uh, milestone that they were advertising for Final Fantasy and currently they have 30 million subscribed players 30 million on a 10 year old game <clears throat> and a lot of those are, are players that came over from World of Warcraft because they got tired of you know World of Warcraft was getting ruined but um, 
It's a pretty fun game. Pretty popular. It's a Japanese game, but... I've had fun with it. Play it every day for, for years now. Funny, too, because uh, Jeff and I start out playing Nintendo games and stuff together. We're still playing a game that we played when he was just a little boy. And then there's a monster tractor. A handhold retro gaming thingy. I can't see those dang things. They're too little for me. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to use... I didn't pick this grass up because I'm using that as a, as a guideline. I don't want to plow... Th this is my border right here. I don't want to plow right up to the border because I want a little bit of space between the fields. A, a little driving space, a little working space. So I'm going to use this outside um, row here as a guideline. And I left it clear around the field. So what I'm going to do is this right, right cheer. I'm going to line this thing up as best I can. Kind of, sort of. I, I don't know. If I plow that grass, does it take the grass away? I guess I'll find out. Okay, so what am I looking at? 92. 92 degrees. Let me make it exactly 92. There's 91. 92. 90, 92. There's 92 degrees right there. Okay, so let's... Um, let's get into the GPS. And... Pull up the mow. We're going to pull the mow up. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, up, up. And we're going to go here. And I'm going to do an auto wit. And then go in here. Let me let me back out. Okay, so it wants me to um, create a field. So let's go back in here, and we're going to plow. Failed to save scan data. Okay, fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's do... Hmm. I thought I could just do that. I thought I could just do that. And be straight. Set A, set B. That be plow. Let's see if that works. All right, and then let's. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We need to do that, and then turn it on. I think this will work. Try it. Nearly the same size as uh, Steam Deck. Jeff's got that switch that he plays on. I just too little for me. I can't play on it.
Okay, here we go. It, it, it is plowing the grass up. And it didn't take out the bushes. It leaves the bushes. So that's okay. The way to take those bushes out is I'm going to have to come out in and paint them out. So I'll have to do that. I mean, just get the majority of the plowing done. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay. I'm just going to let it go for now. I know what to do. The reason why it's not taking that grass up is because I didn't didn't mow it. Okay, so I'm going to come in right here like that. Come to the corner and drop it. Okay, I'm eyeballing this and it's not quite the same. But I just I just did it from an eyeball anyway, so I'm losing a little bit of that cut grass, but that's all right. All right. Have I seen the new case mod? Oh, what is it? Is it a tractor, a combine case? Um, what What kind of equipment is it? All right, we're looking at 182 degrees. Um, oh, yeah. I want to be It wants to be 180.1, doesn't it? There. No, I had it there for a second. But it really wants to be 180.1. There it is. Okay. We're going to do this. And that <clears throat> a new seven fifteen tractor? No, I haven't seen that yet. Hey, Tina. How's it going? Okay, so those um, patches there that it won't plow, uh, you can't you can't cut these like a tree, and you can't plow them, and you can't mow them. So the only way to fix those 
is to go in um, to your landscaping and stuff, which is not there. It's in here. You go to your landscaping and your, um, is it planting? Painting? I can't remember. Let me let me check just a minute here. Let me let me just. Okay, that's grass. So if I take my grass, I think I can paint over. Yeah, there you go. You paint over it like that. And now I should be able to plow it. I think. Maybe. Let's go see if I can plow that. And I might have to t change it to. Um, to to make a field right I don't have it on make field yet because it already thinks this is a field that I own but once you get those br brushes off then you can plow it let me see if I can plow it just the way it is yeah see you can't okay so what I have to do is I have to come in here and uh, and I have to allow create fields, which is why. So if I do that, it should now plow it. There we go. All right. So I'm going to turn that off for the time being. Limit fields. I want to do that because I don't want to make any mistakes on this. And then after I get the uh, border in like, that I'm doing right now, uh, then I'll have to worry about making a, a mistake outside the border. It's a beast, huh? I'll have to look at it. I'm, I don't. I haven't seen it. Is it giant? Are you talking? Is it a mod or is it giant that's done it? Is it something that you have to buy? All right, what are we looking at? 269, we want to be 270. There we go, 270. All right, so, and then we're going to swap this thing around again and set it and turn it on, drop it, and off we go. It's in Mod, mod Hub. So, uh, so it's a mod, okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it if I can find it. Bit of a beast. Is it a bigger beast than this one? This one's a beast. It's like 2,000 horsepower. So, Tina, what's up? What's new in your world? Oh shoot, look what I did. Darn it. Now I gotta fix that. I wasn't paying attention. Looking at zero degrees here.
There, we got it, right there. Okay, so flip this around, set it up, turn it on. It's already dropped. Doggone it, I messed that up. I'm gonna have to repaint it, I guess. That's okay, it's easily, easily fixed. And it's just grass, I guess I could uh, just plow it under. I probably should do that. This this isn't what I what I've done all this work here isn't really going to work. Because it still thinks that that well, it thinks it knows that that patch of grass on the other side of the row that I'm using as a guide is still my field. It still knows that. So, if I come out here and drop my plow, it's going to plow it just like it did back there because it knows it's a field that I own. So this isn't what I'm doing here isn't really going to work unless I put a fence up that I can't that I can't plow around. I can fix it though because but I would the way to fix it I would have to go all the way around the field and paint something that's not plowable. Or at least I think that'll work, but I don't know if that's too much work. I may just be goofing around with myself here. Anyway, Let's pick this up and start plowing. Just plow, plow, plow. Plow, plow, plow. Now I've already got I've already got it set up. Let's just leave it the way it is. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up. Cheer. Come up. Cheer. And uh, just go with it. We're just going with it. Monster tractor here. Now what I could do, let me lift this thing up. Corn beef is on. Oh, corn beef. I just had a Reuben sandwich the other day. Believe it or not, my wife has never had a Reuben sandwich. And she goes to Arby's all the time, and, and I, you know, I get tired of the same old thing. So I, I like their Reuben sandwiches because I like corned beef, and I like, uh, and I like, her, um, 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 what's that other stuff? What's that other stuff? I can't think. Sauerkraut. I like sauerkraut, and I like uh, rye bread's okay. Uh, so I'll get a Reuben, and she's never had one, and I said, well, let's try one. So I gave her a bite of mine. She's, oh my God, that's good. I said, yeah, what's really good is put a little horsey sauce on there, a little horseradish. That's really good. And she did. She loved it. And now I've created a monster. Um, okay, we're going to allow this to do fields and see if it will now plow over those patches that it wouldn't plow before without me having to paint them. Yes. Okay, so I don't actually have to paint them now. That saves me a step. Oh, wonderful. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Pancakes for dinner? You know what? I'm a firm believer in breakfast any time of the day. I love I love restaurants that serve breakfast all, all day. Aiden's in track, huh? How's he doing? Does he like it? What am I doing for supper? Gosh, I don't know. I don't, um, I don't eat much anymore. I'm not hungry. I'm never hungry anymore. Um, so, like, I only had a bowl of soup for, for lunch. And then by the time uh, 5 o'clock rolls around, I eat dinner at 5 o'clock. And I'm never hungry. Last night, all I did was bake a potato. Just just a regular baked potato. See what I just did there? I messed it up. Doggone it. Um, just a baked potato. I just ba I baked a potato. I put some a lot of butter on it. I put... Um, I put salt and pepper, salsa, a little bit of ranch dressing, and uh, Bob's your uncle. That was it. Just a baked potato. Just a little one. A little bitty baker. 
I wouldn't even consider it a baker, a little tiny little potato. It's all I could eat. I just, I just am not hungry ever anymore. I'm heavily medicated, I guess. I don't know any way of getting that big old rock out of the field, so I guess I'm stuck with it. We went to a restaurant that we used to go to all the time when we were at the condo, and it's out by the airport in uh, Redmond, Oregon. Oh, they had the best breakfast, just huge breakfasts. And they serve, um, that's, that's pretty much what they do. It's the old, the old pancake house. It's the old original pancake house is what the name of the restaurant is. And they serve pretty much breakfast from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. They don't do anything else after that. So they close at 2. And they used to have the best breakfast. And... COVID happened. Oh, God, I said the word again. Doggone it. Um, it. That happened. And, you know, they had to make changes. And like a lot of restaurants did. And they have never been the same. That's not the same. We went there and we just weren't, you know, it was just mediocre. It just, you know, wasn't the same. There's a, ref, a, a restaurant in uh, Portland that's a it's a local chain called Elmer's, and they do breakfast all day long. Um, they do other things, sandwiches and stuff, but they're mostly known for their breakfast. And we eat there every time we go to Portland because you can get breakfast all day long and really good. I get a, um, a Hungry Ranch, the Hungry Rancher, and it's three eggs two slices of bacon, two slices of ham, and these are not small pieces. They're, they're good chunks of ham. So so three eggs, two slices of bacon, two slices of ham, two link sausages, and, um, and hash browns and a pancake, you know, for breakfast served on a platter. It's just, and it's so good. It's just so good. And so that's what I have for breakfast. And I don't eat like that at home. I don't know how in the hell I eat it there. But I usually do. And I usually have a big glass of orange juice to go with it. So. All righty, peoples. People, people, people. So I just did this for fun today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow on the scheduled uh, live stream. So same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, but I got a call from Addie. She, she's not too tired to walk. So I got to go get her. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I hope you had fun. Good to see you guys today. And I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. And uh, ta-ta for now.